Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another video and as you can see on the title of this video, I'm going to chat to you guys about some of the reasons I think China is better than South Africa, which is my home country. Please don't come for me. This is really, really based on my personal experiences and my personal opinion. In my previous video, I did get a few dislikes, the first of many to come. <laughs> And I was so shocked because I got like six dislikes, but it's, it's fine. It's part of life, you know, we keep it moving, keep it going. Anyway, I'm not a beauty vlogger, blogger, YouTuber or whatever, but since I said I'm going to bring you the second part of my day, I just figured, you know what, let me do a get unready with me video and chat to you guys at the same time. So, um, yeah, don't take any tips from my skin routine, okay? I use aloe vera um, moisturizer on my face. I also use aloe vera toner on my face, 92%. Um, this is also 92%. And I use the aloe vera face mask on my skin. So, yeah, I don't have the best skin, but I don't really have acne problems. And I try to do what I can to make it look better. Hopefully one day I can get to do a facial. Anyway, so let's get started. Like the first reason for me I want to talk about is paying with your phone. So China has apps that you can use, for example, WeChat Pay and Alipay, right? Which is linked to your bank account. And basically there's no need for you to carry around cash if you have these apps because all you do is, scare, is scan, scan, scan. <laughs> yeah, whenever I'm recording, my English runs away. I don't know. But anyway, um, these apps basically allow you to scan a code whenever you're in a store and that's how you pay. And South Africa definitely does not have anything close to what WeChat Pay and Alipay is. I think it's very efficient. I think it's safe as well because you don't have to carry around your bank card or you don't have to carry around cash, which we all know South Africa is definitely not safe. And I really haven't heard any cases of fraud, okay? So I definitely think Alichat, Alipay WeChat pay very, very good and efficient. I love that. Reason number one. My second reason is... Okay, I'm going to say this based on my experience as being a foreigner in China. It's saving money. Okay, it's much more easier for you to save money as a foreigner in this country. Because first of all, the currency is higher than South Africa. And you earn relatively more as a recent graduate than you would in South Africa. So you end up um, saving a lot more than you would have when if you were working in South Africa. Because you're saving on accommodation, which is in South Africa most of your salary, almost half of your salary if you have a really good paying job. And... If you work here in China, what most employers do is they provide you with accommodation, fully furnished, well, or they give you a housing allowance. Another reason I think you would save is because the cost of living is relatively lower than what it is in South Africa. Like the electricity rates are low, water and gas for your stove, because here in China we use gas stoves. And yeah, that's my second reason of why I think... China is better than South Africa. And my third reason is um, transport efficiency. Like, you know, in South Africa, to reach a certain point, you'd have to take multiple taxis if you're going far or you can't. Yeah, well, I've, I have a lot of taxi experience, definitely. So, yeah, in China, you either take a taxi, which will which is also not very which is also not expensive um you can take a uber with using the didi app um it's called didi in china or you can take the bus which in most cases to get from point a to point b which is across 
town can cost you like one kwan, which is two rand. And then if you use the subway, it can cost you, um, am I telling the truth? Wait, let me think. No, two, 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 so which is four rand. And it's the same with the subway, depending on where you go. If you're going on the other side of town, sometimes you just pay like four rand and that's really not expensive. I personally haven't used the subway, but when I do, I'll vlog my experience. And then what else? Oh, another reason I love um, China, but this has nothing to do that it's better than South Africa, is the job opportunity because in South Africa, it's very hard to find a job as a recent graduate. So I would definitely recommend um, young people of South Africa to take the opportunity to come and work in China. It gives you traveling experience, you know, and if you're brave enough to do it, I mean, why not? You'll be able to save up a lot more money to have a good head start in your career when you decide to go back to South Africa. So I definitely recommend that you do that. Okay, so now I'm done cleaning my face with the makeup. I don't know why I'm using so many wipes, but yeah. Are you going to take the wipe with my toner? So since I'm talking about what I love about China more than South Africa, oh yes, the most important one, how could I forget, is the safety. It is really, really, really safe in China. Like, I have to give it to them. Like, honestly, I'm going to give you an example. Like, one of my colleagues had a night out and he was very intoxicated and he happened to forget his phone inside the Didi, which is the Uber. So, since he forgot his phone, um, he was very stressed out about it and everything. And then he managed to... Um, use his girlfriend's phone and he was able to find the driver that he used and the driver brought back his phone like i think in less than an hour even like the driver literally drove back to him and gave him back his phone would that ever happen in south africa that would never happen in south africa and we know this and then another reason is um like you don't have to walk in the streets being scared someone's going to snatch your phone out of your hand like in south africa you do or if someone is going to pull your hair off um i mean i don't drive in china but even hijacking it's just south africa's crime is so high it's it's ridiculous so in china you won't have to worry about any of that another example i can give you is okay so now i'm going to put on my mask and then I use the moisturizer. <gasps> Oops. I use the moisturizer after taking the mask off once I've washed my face. Yeah, it's it's very good hydrating for your skin. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. Um, if I hear a commotion outside my door at 2 a.m., I'm not gonna be paranoid and scared and my heart beating fast because I'm not, it's not South Africa. I know they're not gonna break in. Like even in the streets, the street cameras, yes, some people feel like we are being watched or whatever, but I feel like I'd rather live in a country that's more controlled, more in control of the crime rates and they're able to, um, people are too scared to commit petty crime than live in a country where ugh, they literally can steal anything, anything from you. Yeah, that's definitely some of the reasons why I think China uh, 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 is better than South Africa. And another thing about the Didi app, which I love so much. Oh, this feels so good. Which I love so much is that it has a police. I'm so button. sorry that the video cut. There was so much more that I said. Um, it's just that I don't want to record it again because I was talking, 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 but my phone was not recording. It went off. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because of space. So anyway, please um, subscribe, comment. If you have any video suggestions, like this video. Um, there isn't much that I can show you about China at the moment, but I will be t um, I will be uploading more informative videos. So maybe tips on how to have a successful interview, demo video tips, 
um, recommend some agencies you guys can use or websites that you can do your TEFL certificate on for a very much lower price. And yeah, stay tuned to my channel and thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.